The artist Jane Davis, who I highly recommend, fabulous lady. Uh, I met her in Miami a few years ago. And again, such a generous woman with all her online stuff. Uh, her favourite colour is uh, Nickel Azo Gold. Um, Conacridone Nickel Azo Gold. It's a golden colour uh, and it's a beautiful toffee orange. There isn't a real equivalent, I don't think, I haven't found it yet, uh, in oil paint, uh, hence my searching. Um, so I've got a blend here of different types of oranges. This is the Rembrandt Orange Iron Oxide. Okay, I'll put them on a bit of paper so you can see. So those amongst you who, like me, um, love all things rust. Okay. I'm going to get some of the Nicolazzo gold. Obviously we cannot mix this with our oil paint. Uh, we're just in the interest of... Right, that's, that's the acrylic Nicolazzo gold. It's a beautiful transparent colour. Okay. Uh, and that's, that's the Rembrandt. That's fairly... Okay, okay so maybe not as orange. Uh, as that one. Next in line is Williamsburg Alizarin Orange. Which is probably a bit yellower. It's dried already, it's acrylic. Uh, it's probably a bit yellower than Nicolazzo Gold, but not too bad. Uh, and then, of course, I get another favourite of mine, which is the um, Indian Yellow. This is Jackson's Indian Yellow. It's quite pale. Okay. However, mixing that with that, I say, I is my go-to on the whole for making a nearly a Nicolas <laughs> Nicolas gold. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. So I've got a range of oranges here and different tones, okay? Uh, and they're delicious. And I'm going to do a, a mixed glaze layer on this panel. So there'll be different areas that are dark glaze, light glaze, orangey glaze, yellowy glaze. I've got three. I'm gonna put, I've used that one up. Never mind. That's okay. Okay, so I've got a mix. I've got my Rembrandt and I've got my Williamsburg. I'm going to put a little bit of 50-50 in with each of these. Uh, they're all transparent colours, by the way. You can get away with semi-transparent perfectly well. Not a lot of this. They're going to mix together on the panel as well as obviously on my palette. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of this gambling G gel. That does actually make a really nice lush texture and that's going to dry quicker as well. There we go. I know I'm going to be kicking some of this back with some darks. I'm just trying to get a, a varied glaze going. It's really highlighting the textures beautifully.
So the G gel is just uh, a bit like Galkid, but in a tube. I think they add something like petroleum jelly to it. I'm not sure, quite sure what they add to it. delicious. 